course, today we'll be talking about Marvel Legends, the Affinity War Marvel's Outriders. Now, this is part of the Avengers Affinity War, and you'll see it does have a wraparound cover here. Very cool looking cover here, and on the back we see the Outrider with its forearms, its alien look appearance from the movie. Now, on the bottom here, we do have the words, and we do have the UPC code on this side. On the top, we have the Shattered Avengers. So, let's go ahead and get it on the scale and see how much it weighs. Okay, it's coming in at 15.4 ounces. So, let's get it off the scale and out of the box. Hey, open, damn it. Open. Okay, to just take them out of the box, you got two pieces of tape here. Just pull this off and we'll pull the black one out. And notice it is a two pack. They conveniently put this stuff side by side. Now it does come with an extra head and that's it. So one thing about Marvel, these guys are just in the plastic, no extra items to lock them in, so no ties or anything like that, which is very nice because that saves a lot on trash. Even though they are in these plastic containers, it's still very nice. Now I'll just simply pop this one out as well, and you can see we have the two different heads, or you can take this head and put it there to match the other one. So this one's head has these little wings here. I guess it denotes either rank or a little bit difference in them. Now we have these rubber claws here for mouse on this one. This head, you can see here, and it does bend. So just be wary of that. Now the head can rotate around. I'm not seeing any up and down for these guys. Each of the arms come out to a nice T-pose. They can also rotate around as well. They have bicep swivels, double bends in the elbows, and peg hinge for wrists. Now he does have this upper waist articulation, chest articulation right here, and has it right here as well. Now, he doesn't rot spin at this section. He can spin at the top, though. Now, legs come out to this much of a sp split. Forward and back. Thigh rotation. Double bend in the knee. And this ankle here is on a peg hinge. Now, it's unique because it just has a very small hole for peg holes, but not really designed for them as I can see. So I don't know if that was intentional or it was a last minute decision, um, but these guys are very top heavy. So you will have to put them in a pose that lets them stand up on these little bitty ankles. Now the ankles themselves, as you can see here, are just very short. The peg goes into there and you have all this wasted space here. So a little stand might have been good for these guys. Because you can see, yeah, you're going to have to have them with legs apart or something like that to get them to stand just right. Now, luckily, it does come in a two-pack. So you can have two figures standing and are falling down, depending on how you do them. Now, these guys are coming in eight inches tall. So it's very nice that, that your six and a half inch figures will look up to them to fight. So if nothing else, you have these big old guys for an army. It Luckily, it already comes in a two pack. So it's very cool. So remember, as always, to like, subscribe, and keep collecting.